I'm, I'm, they're already thinking. Yeah. Right? The problem is that institutions and ideologies are comp- compartmentalizing their ways of thinking. And the difficulty most students are having is with navigating that. How do I go about compartmentalizing my thoughts according to this institution and its ideological perspective, which usually has fuck all to do with my lived experience? So. Sure. Because it's an institution with an ideological perspective that's been derived from like 200 years of state funding or non-state funding and capitalist funding and otherwise and whatever else. It's gotten to this point and it's pinned down its curriculum to this point to serve whatever yeah, yeah. requirements and, and conditions that it's under. <clears throat> and I'm supposed to walk in there as this like all curious, all taking in creature trying to understand everything I'm looking at because I'm a kid. And then you're trying to drill my head full of this like institutionalized, compartmentalized way of, in the literal sense. Classrooms for, for lessons. Is, is, is that... And bells at the end of a lesson, like, like a dog, like a puppy. Yeah. They are guarding all the doors, they are holding all the keys, which means that sooner or later, someone is going to have to fight them. Someone. The institutions that we're describing are the ones that are, ha- are asking that question. I'm not asking that question, they're asking that question. The institutions who have been putting in the curriculums and trying to drive a certain way of thinking in my head are the ones who have to ask the question, shit, how do I get them to do this? Sure. Because it's not in your nature to do this. So I have to make you do it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I understand. Every business, every academic uh, institution, every whatever else, everybody who's trying to sell you, pitch you something has to ask themselves the question first, how do I make you do this? Because it's not what you were doing anyway. In philosophy, more than anything else, it's what you're doing anyway. Like, I don't have to make you think about philosophy. My G, that's what you were doing. Like, what the fuck were you doing? Yeah, yeah. How did you get here? Well, I took a road. How did you know the road was going to be there step yeah, yeah, after yeah. step when well, I assumed it? Based on what assumption? <clears throat> well, my lived experience is stop philosophy. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't get from your house to here without philosophizing. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you talking about? There's no, you didn't do this. You didn't live your experience with that. You didn't call it philosophy because Richard Dawkins calls it something else. And you didn't call it philosophy because your philosophers are usually like five foot eight skinny white men with privilege. Like I get it. Yeah. That I get it. So when you think philosophy, you think either that or some mystic meg type shit. I get it. And I don't blame you. And that's not your fucking fault. But philosophy is the word you use to describe what you were fucking doing anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's not the lesson you went to take after yeah. you philosophized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? It's the word I used to describe what you were doing. I didn't have a word for that. So I gave it a word. I called it philosophy. And then you went, ooh, how do I philosophize? Bitch, that's why I said what you were doing. That's the name for this. It's like saying if I said we've got a name for being. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, oh shit, how do I go about being? My G, that's just... <laughs> you were. You are. No, but how do I do it authentically now? <laughs> Fam, fuck off. Like, really, now leave, please. Just, would you just leave? Like, I can't stand this bullshit. Like, what do you mean? I, I want to be the real me, though. Shut the fuck up, being the real me. And I hate that shit, by the way. <laughs> I just, no, you should know. <laughs> just as a side point. Uh-huh. Because it's relevant to life. Hashtag I hate that shit. Now. Hashtag whatever the fuck. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. I hate. I'm trying to find me, man. I'm trying to be the real man. Oh, uh, yeah, we've talked Get about the this endless. Fuck out. Yeah, yeah. I hate that shit. Here's my question. Okay. I've got one question. I uh-huh. swear to God, I'll never say it. I swear to God, I've got one question. Okay. I swear. Uh huh. When you're trying to find you. <laughs> now, hold on for real. No, I've got a question. My G. No, well, I've got a question for real. When you're trying to find you, right? you trying to find you. How do you trust who's doing the finding? <laughs> If it ain't you. Well, because it's me, in it? No, but if it is you, then you don't have to find it. <laughs> well, you would have thought that. No, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if it's not you doing the finding, who do you find? And it's, how do you trust who found it? It's like... Uh... Because that ain't you. You're looking for you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I hate that shit. I hate that shit. And that's, to me, when, when someone... It's the same kind of questioning. When someone says, how do I go about... I'm not saying you're making them say, I just think yeah, this yeah, way, yeah, right? Because yeah. I'm crazy, I think this way. But when someone says, how do I go about living my life philosophically? I'm like, fam, what are you talking about? Like, you just did. Like, how do you, what do you mean? How do you, how do you go about living your life unphilosophically?